Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to talk about why is this rig so expensive? And what's so special about the cartridge that it fires? In addition, we're gonna be running through some of our favorite guns. Welcome back to E3 TV. Hey everybody, welcome back and I'm excited for today's show and the reason is I'm going to be talking you through my four favorite rifles and I'm also going to talk about this shotgun that's right there. And uh, I'm going to talk about why I like these, why these are my top four rifles. And then we're also going to talk about this one specifically. So after we kind of give you a little bit of a rundown on these four, we're going to remove these guns and we're going to talk about this particular one, the Q, Fix, and 8.6 Blackout. Exceptional firearm, and I can't wait to go through the details on that. And then we're also going to talk about these cartridges and talk about these rounds and what's special about these rounds and why I like them. Now, I will tell you that we have everything on each end of this. We have our Barrett M107A1 that goes on the other side in 50 cal all the way down to our competition 22 LRs. So we have everything in between, AR-15s, AR-10s, AKs, everything all over the place. But these four are very special to me, and I'm going to talk you through them and talk about why. Let's start over here, and we'll call this our 300 Blackout, which is what it is. This is the Honey Badger, the Q Honey Badger. This is a two-stamper, so what I mean is two tax stamps. We have the SBR, short barrel rifle, as well as our integrated silencer on here. And then on this also, we have our surefire light. We have the pad on top. We also have the press button on off, but then momentary pad on top of it. And our EOTech on here as well. So we'll get into the specs on the firearm itself. Then we come to the center one, the big boy, when it comes to prices, unfortunately. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the Q fix. And this is an 8.6 blackout. This is another two stamper. So we got our pork chop here on the end and it's an SBR. And then we're also gonna be talking about our halo XRF, which is incredible. Can't wait to show that to you guys. Running over to the next size up, we've got our Barrett MRAD in 338 Lapua. Now, this used to be probably my favorite gun for long range and competition type stuff. So this one has our Boris system, the computer system on top of it from Barrett that is integrated into the Night Force scope here. And then of course we have our Night Force scope on top of our Barrett 416. Love this round. This is an incredible round. We're going to talk about the round on this gun and why it's so special. So anyway, these are the guns that we're going to go ahead and talk about in detail. Then we're going to get more into the 8.6 than talk about these cartridges because there's something really special. This round here, I can't wait to talk to you about. There's something extremely special about the, this 8.6. Not that it's subsonic or supersonic, but there's something about this projectile that is very special. I can't wait to talk to you about that. So Let's dig in. So of course we have our Honey Badger here from Q. 300 Blackout, we're running subsonic right now. This has the uh, gas block on it. Like we talked about, this is Q's suppressor that is on here. This is a uh, integral suppressed into the guard rail here. And then we've got two stage trigger. We got a two position here. Um, we talked about the EO tech that's on here. Now I will tell you that this is a one in five twist on this barrel, which is one of the reasons why this is kind of special, how they've been able to get this 300 blackout to be so effective that it is. So it's a one in five twist. This is only about five pounds without the EO tech and the light on it. So that's what's really special about this. I, I will tell you that since I started firing the 300 blackout from Q, I haven't even picked up an AR-15 since owning this and, and running this gun. This has been kind of my bedside along with this shotgun here that we're going to talk about in a second. But uh, this 300 Blackout is just incredible. It's a blast to shoot, so light, so compact, and the round's pretty effective. I mean, I think when you looked at the ballistics on this 300 Blackout, it's even better than the, the 5.56. Love this firearm. So we typically are running about a 115 grain projectile on this Blackout, so subsonic. And we'll roll some B-roll in here so you can see us, hear us shooting this. It's pretty awesome. Now this noticeable mention I want to bring up is our Benelli M4 shotgun, marine version, collapsible stock. I'm just putting that on here today because, you know, it's not one of the four rifles, but this is a pretty special gun. And I use this for uh, an RV gun. I use this for our boat protection gun. So when we're out in the boat and stuff, that's the shotgun I have there. I should say this is my true bedside gun. You know, that Benelli M4 shotgun in the house, I think is the best. You know, that's a whole different topic. Uh, the reason I say that is, you know, you're gonna hear people right now talking about this is their new home defense, the 8.6 
blackout is their new home defense gun. I'm not a huge fan of that. You know, this round will go through walls without a doubt. We'll go through concrete, we'll go through aluminum, and then when it gets to the other side, it's pretty devastating. And we're gonna talk about the ballistics on that round, but I'm not a huge fan of this gun being a bedside gun or even a home defense gun. Of course, you gotta know your mission, where you live. I mean, if you live in Montana and you're worried about, you know, grizzlies breaking in your front door or something, and you got no kids in the house, yeah, maybe this is great. But if you've got uh, kids in other rooms or other people sleeping in other rooms, these are definitely not my bedsides. I usually go with this or my nine millimeter uh, with 15 rounds in it. So a uh, little kind of sidetrack as we go on there. I wanna move on to this gun. I'm not gonna talk about too much right now because I wanna go into detail after, but this is brand new to us. This is the Q-Fix 8.6 with the Halo system on it. Absolutely love this. This is incredible. This is one of the things that makes this gun so expensive for us is this system right here by itself is uh, almost $10,000 just for that. Then of course we've got the gun that's uh, you know around three grand with the pork chop. Now the pork chop on here is pretty cool and we're gonna get into more details on it. Now this is running a one in three twist. That's one of the reasons this gun is so effective. It makes some incredible energy on impact with that and it gives it a little bit more distance, makes it pretty effective. So that one in three is pretty good. Now we're usually running about a 285 grain projectile on this and when we get into starting to talk about Fort Scott munitions projectiles and rounds, this is where we're going to talk about this a little more that's pretty interesting. So now I want to talk about this. Our Barrett M Rad used to be our favorite long range shooting gun. 1600 yards all day long with this. I mean if you look at kind of across the board here, you know, the, the 300 blackout, 100 to 300 yards, it's pretty good effective, you know, good CQB gun, you know, hunting, maybe small stuff, things like that. Then you run over to the fix 8.6. You can easily be running this out to four or 500 yards and it's pretty effective at that. And this will definitely take down some big game. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more here too. Then you run over here to the 338 Lapua MRAD from Barrett, pretty effective long range. I mean, you can run this out two miles. You can also run the 416 out two miles. I'm not that good, but I have friends that'll shoot these out two miles. I typically will shoot these about 1600 yards, no problem. The 338 Lapua is actually a little bit, a little bit flatter than the 416 that we're gonna talk about here. It's, uh, I like this round, it's a pretty effective round. I don't like the prices on shooting these rounds, but it's a, a pretty effective round. So on the 338 Lapua, MRAD. Now MRAD stands for multi-role adaptive rig basically and you can change these barrels out really quick and stuff but this in 338 Lapua you're looking at a sub MOA without a doubt. You could shoot this out 1.5 miles all day long. You bought an 85 MOA drop at 1.5 miles. That's pretty good. At 1600 yards you're about a 54 MOA drop at uh, 1600 yards. So pretty effective. Great gun to shoot. The Boris computer on here really adds a lot to it. So you know it, calculates a lot of your altitude, not your wind drift and stuff, but you know, your altitude and everything else that you really need to make this more effective. It'll basically tell you what to dial this into based on, on the range. Now, it doesn't have a range finder like you have here on the Halo, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. So if you know your range, you're gonna dial it in here and this really uh, helps with your accuracy. Me, my family, we shoot this thing 1600 yards all day long. Then you get up here to the 416. Now, you're going from a 1 in 9 twist here to a 1 in 15 twist on the 416. This at 100 yards is almost like cheating. Even 1600 yards, you know, you got a couple inch drop. That's it. It's uh, after about four or five shots, it gets a little boring. So you really want to be trying to reach this thing out a little bit further past a, a mile and a half, two miles. It's uh, pretty good. Now, I'm not that good. I haven't been hitting two miles. My friends hit pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm usually within a couple feet two miles out on this. We're running our night force and we got the 56 on here. So the 56 on both of them uh, is pretty good. I'm thinking of going to some of the newer 80s that uh, are in some of the other brands, but I'm gonna check that out. And you know, you're about a, a 15 pounds on the MRAD and you're about 25 pounds on the Barrett 416. Now this 416 is basically a 50 cal necked down to a 416 caliber bullet really efficient. We were shooting uh, some steel. It wasn't AR-500 steel, but we were shooting some steel at 1600 yards and we did not see the steel move. It was cheap steel. When we went out to the target, we literally saw that this round just went right through the steel, barely even moved the steel and just went right through it. So this is a pretty, pretty effective round. 
out that far. Now, obviously you're not gonna carry these out hunting. These are heavy guns. This was originally made for snipers for the military. Uh, same thing here. These are more for taking down tanks or, or heavy equipment and things like that. Obviously this is a more effective from a sniper standpoint. Uh, I think the ballistics are a little better on this uh, MRAD 338 Lapua than on the 416, but these are really fun to shoot. Now, I will tell you on this 416, of course it's sub MOA. At a mile and a half, you're a 100 MOA drop, a mile and a half on this. Nine feet, think about that. A mile and a half out, a nine foot drop. That's what you're getting on this. That's pretty effective. Now, it really tails off when you get out to two miles. It really starts to drop versus the 338 that holds itself a little bit more because this will be at about an 85 MOA drop at a mile and a half. And then at only at 1600 yards, you're talking only about a 40 MOA drop at 1600 yards on the Barrett 416. Pretty impressive uh, ballistics on, on these two. And of course, they're Barretts. I mean, these are a blast. And you know, you've got the monopod in the back here. You got match grade triggers, folding stock. So let's quickly talk about the prices on these before we kind of get into the uh, Q fix here. You know, you're running about $2,500 as you see this Honey Badger set up with the EOTech and things like that. You're running about $14,000, $15,000 on this 8.6 Q uh, fix. And we'll talk about why and get into that. When you get over to the, this particular uh, MRAD, you know, you're more in the $10,000 range with the Boris system and the Night Force scope and things like that. And then, you know, you're gonna be eight to $10,000 on this 416. You know, another side note on the 416, you know, if you're in some of the states where a 50 cal is banned, well, this is way more effective than a 50 cal. <laughs> yeah, it's not banned because it's a 416, it's not a 50 cal. Even some ranges you go to, they'll say you can't shoot a 50 cal there. But I say, can I shoot a 416? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's the same thing in my mind and actually way more deadly, way more effective. Some cool advantages to this 416. I think this is a, a hidden jewel other than the 10 bucks every time you pull the trigger on this. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull away some of these guns and I wanna go in deep on the 8.6 and then I'm gonna talk about the ballistics difference in these and why this 8.6 is special. So give me one second and we'll be back after this commercial. Everybody, welcome back, and I'm excited to go through our Q fix and 8.6. Like I said, this is a two stamper short barrel, as well as we've got the integral suppressed here with the halo uh, on top of it. Now, I will tell you that this is extremely light, as powerful and effective as this 8.6 is. Q just does an incredible job. I mean, especially without this particular scope on it, it's very light. It's a little bit over five pounds. Now, if we start at the, the beginning here, of course, we have the pork chop from Q. Their silencers are crazy. They are, are so good. And you'll hear us shoot some of these and, and hear it. We've got the tapered muzzle on the, on the front here. So the pork chop just basically sides on and screws on there and we're done. Now we talked about the barrel being a one in three twist. Makes this really effective in a short barrel. It also means that you have to have solid projectiles on them because you are really spinning this thing. So, and I think that's what makes this particular rifle so special is that twist and how they developed it and things. Now, of course, we got the two stage trigger and I think Q calls it literally the best trigger ever made. I'm not kidding. That's the actual name that's on their SKUs in their system. Literally the best trigger ever made. It actually is a really great trigger. I love it. And we have a two position stock here as well. Pop that out, fully adjustable for the precision shooting and hunting. This bolt throw is incredible. Look at this, 45 degree, 
boom, boom, boom. That's it. Compare that to the MRADs and the 416s, it's like a 75 degree. So this bolt throw is so smooth and it's nice. Of course, we've got our magazine right here. And we're gonna talk about putting the uh, rounds in that in a second. Um, of course, we've got our 45 degree selector switch here. So I wanna talk a little bit about the Halo XRF. And you know, this is the night vision thermal imaging system. And uh, this is the XRF and they've got some incredible products. You wanna check out their stuff. But this particular unit, we love. There's so many different formats in here that you can check out. It records in high def onto a memory stick and it also records the audio on here. Also it has USB-C that you can hook up to your computer. You can pull your files in and things like that. But uh, this is absolutely incredible. We're gonna roll some footage in here as I'm talking to kind of show you a little bit of uh, what this is about. But um, this is magnified as well as uh, night vision and has some really special features on it. It's got a 640 by 480 resolution, onboard video and audio recording like we talked about. It also has the built-in laser finder. So if you look at right here on this side of it, you can see we've got the built-in laser finder right here. I'll turn it towards the camera so you can see that a little bit. You have eight reticle options and a 50 millimeter reticle on here. So it's pretty effective, it's pretty powerful. I mean, you can easily be hunting out at, at nighttime or even the daytime. I actually even use this during the day for uh, my targets because it's just so effective and so easy that uh, once you kind of dial this in and you zero it out at 100 yards, running out to 300 yards, making your adjustment here is no problem. So no problem. You can be running this thing hunting three to 500 yards without a doubt. You know, you got an 8.6 here, uh, pretty powerful. I mean, you've got some guys, you look at Q and there's some other people you see out there that are hunting big game. They're taking down Cape Buffalo and things like that with one shot in this. But uh, love this gun, really effective. But I wanna talk a little bit about the 8.6 round and why this is uh, so effective. So basically what we have here, a 6.5 Creedmoor. So this is your 6.5 Creedmoor that's been around a long time. Put that right beside the 416. And basically you've got a 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge casing that is then adjusted to accept a 338 Lapua projectile. So you've got the 6.5 Creedmoor, 338 Lapua that we already talked about. And between these two, the 8.6 is born. Now, let me show you a little bit with it in the actual ER-10 platform. Let's put the 6.5 in first. Okay, so we got that in there. And then you can see you've got your 8.6 in here. Now, one thing I wanna show you as you can see what's going on here, you've got the rail inside, the rail that's inside here is on the cartridge, on the actual brass on the 6.5 Creedmoor. Because of how this is modified, the rail that's inside the magazine is actually on the projectile. So that's why it works so well. And you can kind of see that. We'll zoom in close there so you can see that. But that's the difference between the two of them. And you can kind of see what's going on here. You got this bigger projectile on a 6.5. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about this particular round. I promised you in the beginning that we're going to talk something special about this round. Now, I do want to show you here that on this Fort Scott ammunition, which is ammunition we absolutely love, I actually use this in my nine millimeter too, and I'm gonna explain why in a second, but you see this TUI, TUI, Fort Scott TUI, tumble upon impact. Look at some of the ballistics tests that we've done here. Now, this is an incredible round because it's solid, very pointy. This round here will go through metal, like aluminum siding or whatever it is, and it'll go through it straight. But as soon as it hits soft flesh, or you know something you're hunting or something soft on the other side, it tumbles. So that combination makes it a pretty effective round. I mean, you've got a 6.5 Creedmoor, a 338 Lapua bullet. With this technology, you know, you've got some number one, you've got some pretty incredible energy on impact, but then the defensive part of it or the effectiveness of the tumble in this round. So it's pretty, pretty deadly combination that you have going on here. Now, I use these rounds, the TUI rounds, in my nine millimeter too. Let me tell you why, I travel a lot. You get to some 
states like uh, New Jersey, things like that, where you can't have hollow point. You can't have personal protection hollow point bullets. But you can get this round in this tumble on impact technology in a nine millimeter. And that is now my number one go-to for when I'm traveling through states and stuff. Now I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about getting more rounds when I get to the other end where I'm traveling and things like that. I just have a solid copper uh, round that is in my nine millimeters. This 8.6 is pretty effective. Now, I will tell you, first of all, if you're an E3 member, E3 firearms member, you get some pretty significant discounts with our partner here at, at Fort Scott. So log into your platform, check that out. And hey, while we're at it, we haven't finished yet. If you want more of this, like and subscribe and just let us know because I would love to know from you all down below in the comments, let us know what kind of content you guys would like to see. I mean, there's only so many, here's my gun, let's go shoot it on the range time and stuff. But, you know, we have lots of resources here at E3 Firearms with uh, the Sheriff's Department and Adam and Tonto and all of our partners and stuff. We can bring you some pretty incredible stuff. So let us know in the comments below what content you guys want to see. And if you put an email in to support at e3association.com, We'll give you a free trial membership in uh, E3 Firearms, so check that out. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up, but if you haven't had a chance to check out and try this Fort Scott, you've seen the ballistics gel and what happens, and uh, it's pretty effective. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe again, and uh, we'll see you on the next show. Take care.